I have just finished having a full-on cry. <laughs> I'm having a procedure done on Friday and if any of you have ever had anything medical done, any sort of procedure, you will probably relate to this, uh, the fear, the emotions and all the thoughts and things that kind of go with it, right? So on Friday, this procedure is something that has a lot of emotion attached to it. Something that mum had, uh, the big C, and something that Nana died of and passed of. And for me, I need to go and get this test done, this procedure done, because it is genetic and it runs in our family. It's all happened really quickly and because I'm 40, <laughs> they like to test it and uh, just to check everything and make sure it's caught quickly and early so i'm going in for this procedure and for the last three days i could you not well actually since i booked it probably about four four days i've had such upset queasy tummies <laughs> and of fear pretty much fear so what i'm doing and i went into dave before and i just burst into tears and i said i'm really frightened i'm really scared because of everything that's attached to it all the emotions and going through this journey you know what if it is what if it isn't and so we just sat down and he reminded me of all my teachings of energy and what i already know is true wherever your energy goes or your attention goes that's what the uh wherever your attention goes your energy flows so emotions are a huge one they are energy in motion so the heightened emotion the the stronger your emotion the more energy that's going to go towards that what that emotion is attached to so if my emotions are attached to fear fear of the outcome fear of the procedure that is what i'm going to initially like start creating so it was okay feel the emotions felt yes I was scared I was frightened and then I came back and I was like okay right I recognized acknowledged yes a bit scary because of everything that's attached to it but then I had to remind myself to come back to this present moment today is Tuesday I don't have the procedure until Friday but I can do my own energetic work between now and then so for things like being able to sit in meditation being able to keep myself busy and being able to acknowledge what comes up flipping it around flipping my mindset i'm focusing on three words okay i get to so instead of we're, we're given this list of of things that you can and cannot eat five days before the procedure which can bring up a lot you're like oh can I eat this? No, I can't. Can I eat this? No, I can't. And it brings up, but I flipped it around. I get to, like, I get to, I can have chips, <laughs> like hot chips. I get to, we have white bread, uh, which we never ever buy. We buy like brown bread and whole grain breads. But I get to have white bread and my kids are loving it. So I'm flipping it around and finding any sort of silver lining. I get to. Those three words will be really powerful if you're going to any sort of procedure and I get to find out whether it is the cancer or not I get to and whether it is we'll handle it I'll handle it another three words must be all the threes today and then if it's not well then it's perfect it's it's all done what I do find interesting is that my procedure is on the Friday and then the new moon will be on a Saturday I'm pretty sure Saturday or Sunday and which means that once the procedure is done then it can be full on like almost like that dark moon full of energy release and then it will move me forward to a new moon new beginnings so I highly suspect that the results will come back just negative it's something that just needs to be done and it's controlling well not so much controlling but allowing what comes up and flipping the mindset so come friday have the procedure and it'll be all done and dusted release let go like a literal release let go and cleans in order to move forward for a new beginning or the emotional cleansing or the emotional attachment to outcome because mum had it Nana had it and it's highly likely it goes in that feminine genetic line so they want to test me and 
moving forward I get to find out as well and it empowers me to know and to be able to look after the children and then knowing what emotions are attached to that situation so because energy is motion um, emotion is energy in motion I'm aware now to put the emotions of any sort of gratitude of what I am able to experience gratitude that you know my youngest came home today she actually ate her sandwiches she hates sandwiches but it was right bed today and she's like mom that was so yum so <laughs> that's really grateful for that that's a real positive and although it's white bread but you know she loved it silver lining right <laughs> and I get to have a like I had a big plate of chips before or I had like a white um, egg on toast so it's working out what you get to do I get to so flip that switch flip what you're telling yourself absolutely feel what comes up acknowledge it if you are feeling fear your body will tell you my tummy churns all the time and then I have not been able to eat because of that fear so feel it like physically stop yourself pause feel what's coming up acknowledge it it just wants to be acknowledged and just say shit I'm scared I'm actually like quite terrified right now and that's okay and then you'll be like right it is and it isn't in your control you know what's in your control is how you feel how much energy you put into the thoughts what energy you put into your emotions and then whether you flip it or not it's all in your control moving forward so it's now within my control the next few days before the procedure of what energy what emotions I want to attach to this experience if you want it to be a positive one with a positive output flip that flip the energy flip what the emotions are that you're trying to feel what would your ideal outcome be and focus on that so all my future teachings as I get the business up and running will be a lot of how to do this how to flip it not just mindset but the energy side of things the the energetics uh, so you know with like my nursing background I know I understand the procedure I understand the uh, the staffing side of things I, I've been there on, on the other side I understand all of that and then as a patient uh, and now with knowing the energetics and so with my nursing background and now with my intuitive healing back, uh, background and uh, work now the intuitive side I also know how the emotions can affect the outcome as well so that is something that I'm looking at branching out and being able to teach of how you can achieve the desirable outcome that you're really wanting to achieve and how to find the silver lining no matter what it is because there is always 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 a silver lining there is always every experience can teach us something it's whether we see it as a gift or we see it as a curse it's up to us but yes wish me luck I wanted to pop on and share that because I hope it is helpful it's been in that position where your thoughts are going all over the place and you're scared you're terrified your tummy's turning you're crying you're you just it's kind of uncontrollable and then it keeps feeding it and then when you're able to come back to center like I am now and you're able to feel good that's what I want to teach being able to teach that that you can flip from one to the other and create exactly what you truly do desire I hope that was helpful any questions let me know and wish me luck for Friday <laughs>